Every time we go fishing, we always bring our ruler. Cause if that fish is big enough, we put him in our cooler. Take it home for lay him up real nice. Invite over some friends for a feast tonight. We in the cooler. I'm the host that brings the most. My wife and I fish Florida from coast to coast. We in the cooler. My kayak boat paddle board on land. We even working on our in the cooler fishing stand. We in the cooler. I'm the host that brings the most. My wife and I fish Florida from coast to coast. My kayak boat paddle board on land. We even working on our in the cooler fishing stand. We, we in the cooler. cooler. Welcome to In The Cooler, official show for the fish in. I'm your host, Chris Davis. Got my beautiful co-host, Zephyr, on my side, as always. And today we're going down to, where are we going today? Daytona Beach, Ponce Inlet. We're going to hang out down there tonight. Check out Collie Buds, one of our favorite um, reggae artists. We like watching him perform. We're going to go down and see if we can put some fish in the cooler in the process. So stay tuned. Hang out with us. We got the man praying for us, so we got luck on our side. We'll be right back with more in the cooler. Bates on the beach, Collie Bugs. All right, we've made it. Man, look at that. Jellyfish. It look like we're going to be trekking through the water here. Zephyr, you or something else? I guess it's not that bad. All right, we're here at Ponce Inlet. $10 day fee, $20 for the year. Uh, we're just here for the day. We usually bring our boat on the other side. So. We will buy the twenty dollar year package though. It's just to support. But usually we're here on the water, on our boat, hanging out right out here. Today, we're gonna walk it out. And later on, listen to some live reggae in Daytona Beach, Florida, Collie Buzz concert. There's the world famous lighthouse here at Ponce Inlet. This is the spot where Ponce de Leon landed. Am I correct, Zeph? This is it. This is history. In the cooler. All right, as you can see, you're allowed to bring your animals out here. Dog Beach. nice little pathways that lead to the water. I gotta be honest, I think this is the first time we've ever been able to walk through this. This is usually covered in water, at least two feet, three feet. So it's pretty interesting to be able to just walk right up to the cove. I'm not used to that, which explains why there's so many people here at the cove today also. Not only is it a great day, but with this kind this kind of access, it's insane. It looks like we're gonna wrap around the other side. Maybe end up right over here. Right over here in this corner here. Stay tuned. We're roaming today. Pond Cellar. You have to be very careful when you're navigating back here, even though it's the ocean and not necessarily the woods, it's still nature. These mangroves are taller than I am. And as you can see, I got a fishing pole. So when you're gonna walk through this stuff, you wanna trek out here, you wanna make sure to keep your pole up, in an upright position in front of you. That way you don't get any snags. And you also want to watch your step. 
for roots. These mangrove roots are sticking out. You trip over the snakes like I just did. <laughs> You don't have the rights to any of the music you may hear. People are hanging out. They're jamming. We're trekking. No, let's keep going. Let's keep going around to the cold. That's the best spot. I saw an opening over there. Once we get there. you navigate any born and raised Floridian should be able to get back through here no problem I don't know about you northerners but us Florida crackers we could do this no problem all right we've made it to the cove hanging out Let's take a break for a second we might have to relocate find another position I know there's some good fishing right here that's why these guys are on this point but now that we've gotten back here I at least got to show it to you the waters are pretty deep out here in this low cold that's why there's so many boats you pull up to relax and then get back at it all right, looks like Zephyr's going back to the other side. So here we go. We'll be right back with more in the cool once we get some. All right, we found our beach. Ponce Inlet. Disappearing island. We got our nice little setup here. Can't go wrong. Only one piece of plastic, that's it. saying earlier this water is plenty deep plenty deep you take four or five steps out here and it drops right off so I'm just gonna throw a nice little jig get it out there let it float back we're not gonna do anything too strenuous today like I said we have an event to go to later on this evening but if I'm gonna be at the water hanging out might as well bring a pole usually you get crazy luck that way when you're not planning on doing anything heavy you come out here and you hit one in the core stay tuned disappearing island Pont Salem, Florida it's springtime it's time to get outside get acclimated with the earth the water's a little chilly but it feels good in the core time I don't bring my boat I get so jealous when boats go by <laughs> I know it's not just me I know it's not just me but right now there's nothing more I would rather be doing than floating beside that brother right there know when they see in the cooler out here man that was a turtle that was a nice size turtle they know when they see in the cooler fishing they know it's time to get them poles in the water we just started the fish freedom fishing did you see that turtle 
Zephyr. Oh, one of those, um, one of those ducks. Got it. Hey, no. When in the cooler hit the water, it's time to go. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Shout out C Tom. As soon as I put my my lure down, something's tapping on it. I think it still is. Let's see. I like throwing in front of those boats. Sometimes those boats give me just what I'm looking for. Something they want to just grab something and run real quick. Check out my lure. Make sure I still got it. That was a nice thumb. Yeah, still got it. Still got it. Red jig head. It's a little white lure, plain and simple. But I'm think I'm putting it in the right spot, right there <laughs> in the cool. All right. We was here for about what? Two hours, maybe two and a half hours. I just woke up. I had to take a nap. I was tired out here, man. Just working last night. Coming out here, try to get involved. While I was fishing, a boat came by and it grabbed my lure and ripped all my line off my fishing pole. So we turned the fishing pole into a, a tent pole. But now we get ready to head out, head over to Daytona Beach, go over to the ocean deck and check out Collie Buds. Stay with us right here on the only urban fishing show in the state of Florida. We ain't fishing today. The fish aren't biting, but we're doing something else exciting right here on In the Pool. And we made it out. Coming out is always easier than going in, seems like. If you ever want to come out to Pond Sandlet, we recommend it. Bring your dogs, bring your fishing poles, bring your boats, your jet skis. Get ready to enjoy Florida. In the cool. Alright, that was fun. A little, a little siesta. Not in siesta, but it's still a siesta. Got a new addition to In the Cooler. We got a 2018 Jeep Wrangler Sport Trail Raider, obviously. You'll be seeing a lot of this bad boy inside and out on the, in the court in the near future. On our way to see Collie Buds. Nice day. Nice day. It seemed like it was windy, but the water for some reason seemed like it was more calm than what it actually felt like. But it still made for a great day. I got to take a nap on the ocean, the sand. Now we get ready to go hang out with the man Colin Brothers. Stay tuned. We're here for Cali Buds. No matter where you stand, you got a good spot. I'm all the way in the back of the property. We're at the ocean deck. Everybody having a good time. No problem, you good, brother, you good. Right here on the only urban fishing show in the state of Florida, in the cooler. 
official show for the fish sheet. Finale bus coming up soon. Let's go back inside, check out everything.